guys, good morning. So welcome back to my channel, Ramjus Ref TV. So right now, we are here in Japanese restaurant and we're going to eat our lunch. So I'm so late na kami nung na-take na lunch namin around 3 p.m. Gawa na nawili kami kaka-picture dun sa Taichu National Theater. Oh. Ayan guys, yung pagkain na dito, yun yan. Barbecue, barbecue, and then mga steak. So first time plan din kumain dito sa Japanese food and first time kong kumain ng kimchi that day. Alright guys, so let's have our lunch in Japanese. It's called Kabimashou. Mm. So after I'm going to sa Japanese restaurant from Shinkung Mall. So we taxi kami from Shinkung Mall going to Miyahara Ice Cream. Let me tell you about short history regarding this Miyahara Ice Cream Shop. So Miyahara Ice Cream Shop. It is a confectionery restaurant and ice cream parlor in Central District, Taichung, Taiwan. The building is converted from a former ophthalmologist clinic dating to 1927, hence its Chinese name. The building is operated by Don Cake, a Taichung-based confectionery brand. <laughs> was born on December 13, 19, 1874 in Chiran, Kagoshima Prefecture. As a doctoral graduate of Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich and the Institute of Infectious Disease in Japan, Miyahara owned clinics in Kagoshima City and Tokyo and briefly worked at Tainan Hospital. As a ophthalmology director. In 1927, Miyahara opened a clinic in Taichung on the banks of the Lu River. At the time, it was the largest eye clinic in the city. Miyahara continued to operate the clinic until the end of the Japanese occupation of Taiwan in 1945, where he returned to Japan. The building was then used by the Taichung City Health Bureau. Wanting to move to a bigger building but lacking the funds to do so, the bureau came to an agreement with the local businessman Zhang Zhu Zhang Ruzen. Zhang would finance the construction of the new expansion in exchange for the old building. The bureau moved to its new location in 1959 near the current Taichung Hospital. Afterwards, the building was occupied with a wide range of tenants, including a clinic for sexually transmitted infections, a cram school and a dumpling restaurant, a hairdresser, two taxi and bus dispatch companies. After several disagreements, Zhang forcefully evicted the tenants in 1964 and in 1970, the building was used as an office for the newspaper Taiwan Daily. The building sustained heavy damage in the 1999 Gigi earthquake and the 2008 Typhoon Kalmage. 
and after the typhoon the building was in ruins and abandoned in 2010 Don Cake purchased the ruins and over the next two years refurbished the building into a restaurant. The store opened to the public in 2012. After the success of Miyahara Ice Cream, the Don Cake Group also refurbished the nearby 4th Credit Union, a former bank in a similar manner. Miyahara Ice Cream is located at the corner of Zhongzhan Road and Luchuan East Road on the banks of the Lu River. It is a four-story structural steel building. The bottom two floor uses the original brick structure as a facade and preserve the building's kilo. And the top two floor is a newly added Taiwanese cuisine restaurant named Moon Pavilion which a bib gourmand means a person who loves to eat or eats too much which a bib gourmand eatery in the Minchaling guide the atrium in the interior is often paralleled to that of hogwarts in the harry potter franchise miyahara ice cream is commonly cited as one of the earliest urban renewal projects in central district in 2010 <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, kaya pala uh, yung first impression ko dun sa ice cream shop is parang Harry Potter siya or ancient Europe time. Eh, dun para talaga pa uh, binasa yung theme ng building na yun. So ayan guys, so yung binili ni Cass Chelsea is mango flavor, yung sa akin naman is cheesecake, cheese flavor, and then getita is vanilla. Yung sa akin yung toppings ko is cheesecake, yung Chelsea naman is mga original Taiwanese cookies na pan talaga siya yung suited talaga siya sa flavor ng ice cream dito sa Mayahara Ice Cream Shop. So ayan guys, so yung lasa ng Miyahara Ice Cream Shop is very unique. So first time ko may encounter yung gantong flavor. So parang very original lang siya dun sa, or exclusive lang siya dun sa Miyahara Ice Cream Shop. So a few steps away from Miyahara Ice Cream Shop, naglakad kami papuntang Lu River para dun kainin yung ice cream na nabili namin. Sobrang sarap talaga guys ng Miyahara Ice Cream. So, yung flavors napaka-unique. So, exclusive lang talaga siya dyan sa Miyahara Ice Cream Shop. Wala na akong ibang natikman na kagaya ng ganung flavor sa akin dito sa Taiwan. Guys, so binuksan namin yung biscuit na souvenir na binili namin dun sa Miyahara shop. Yan, so ginawa namin siyang alternate na toppings kasi nabitin kami sa toppings sa ice cream namin kasi sobrang mahal dyan. Ayan. So fast forward tayo guys. Ang next destination natin is Taichung Park. So, hindi nasunod yung itinerary gawa ng nakakapagod talaga dito pag mag-tour ka sa Taiwan. Kasi minsan hindi may wasa na maglalakad ka. So, ayan yung example ng river nila guys. So, fast forward. Forward, we are here in Taichung National Park. So, ayan guys. Dito kami sa bridge. Ayan, nagpapakain sila ng mga koi fish, tilapia, and then pagong. So yun guys, tuwang tuwa si na Chelsea tsaka si Tita dyan sa Pagong. Tawag nila dyan si, sino ba yun? Si Whitey. 
YT yung tawag na si Sampagong eh. Yan yung ini-intend nila na napakain kaso parating uh, gawa ng mga koi fish tsaka ng mga tilapia. Mabilis yung isda. So, after namin magpasyal dun sa Taichung Park, so we decided to take a taxi kasi pagod na yung paan namin, lalo na yung paan ni Tita Rose. <laughs> so, nandito na kami ngayon sa HSR from Taichung Main Station. Nag-travel kami MRT going to HSR or high speed rail train station ayan guys and guys do you wonder how speed taiwan's high speed rail so the speed on hsr is designed as 350 km per hour trains are designed with headway of 4 minutes in peak hours the travel time is 90 minutes from taipei to kaohsiung shortening 150 minutes with construction and operations managed by private company Taiwan High Speed Rail or Corporation THSRC TWSE 2633 which also operates the line the total cost of the project was 513.3 billion in 1998 at the time it was built this was one of the world's largest privately funded rail construction schemes. Alright guys, I think that's all for today and I hope you enjoy my video and please follow my page Ramjus of Grasparil and like and share my vlog and thank you for watching. Bye bye!